you have obviously you worked in Boston before, uh, Mr. Griver, uh, have, Patriots yeah. Day. What yeah. is it? What is it like working in Boston versus other uh, uh, filming locales? Um, well, I love working in Boston. This is probably my sixth or seventh thing I've done there. I, d I don't really know why I keep getting Boston gigs, but I, I do. And um, uh, you know, Boston is so interesting because everybody has a really great sense of the history of the city, but it's not just. It's, it's like real old historical stuff like, oh, you know, that, that the, the colonials, you know, died there or something. I don't yeah, even yeah, know. I don't, I'm not a big on <laughs> history. But then it's also like, uh, like more recent stuff. Like, like, you know, my cousin knows the guy that was shot. And the, the, you know, if he was connected to, you know, like right in that, right in that alley, right there. <laughs> you know, it's, and so you, you always get uh, this, this it it's also feels like a super, super small town. You yeah, know? Everybody is. knows everybody. Everybody knows everything about everybody that's going on. I, I, I have a great uh, fondness for it. It is, a, it is true that if you are nice to people in uh, Boston, uh, everybody knows by the next time you got back because they all do know each other. Yes. Uh, yes. Like, I'll go back and they'll be like, hey, uh, my cousin Tommy uh, worked the door at your last show. He yeah. said you're a class act. I yeah. really appreciate it. Yeah. Like, oh. Right, right, <laughs> right. And everybody has a friend that knows a guy. <laughs> yeah, they do. They're very... <laughs> Uh, I want to ask about this, because your first, uh, not a lot of people have such iconic first uh, roles or films, uh, Animal House. Uh -huh. You were in Animal House, you were 18 years old. Yeah. Uh, I, were, were other people in that movie at that point, were they all starting out? Were there people, was John Belushi famous? John Belushi was famous, because uh, he was on Saturday Night Live. Yeah. And, um, have you heard of it? Oh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> he, he was, you know, uh, he was on Saturday Night Live and also was at that, pinnacle of like his greatness on Saturday Night Live and uh, he was traveling back and forth from SNL in New York and we were shooting all the way out in Oregon and um, he was the first real um, you know celebrity that I ever met and certainly movie star and so I was really really like taken with him and he was a very very generous and warm guy I'll never forget he did a party uh, that I got that I got invited to, and he, we were all staying at this crappy hotel, and he he had a house, a rented house, I think it was by the water, and he had everybody come over, and he had brunch, and he had flown locks from New York, and that blew my <laughs> mind. That first off, that he would have a party, be able to afford it, and that they would go to Z it was like Zabar's Barney Greengrass or something, get this giant. And I, I never ate locks because it was too expensive. <laughs> yeah. I, and there was just piles of it. It was that combined with the first time that I had ever heard of a mimosa. Oh wow! Yeah. So <laughs> this was a really, really major point in my yeah. life. Yeah. I mean, with to be Vinnie introduced. John. To locks and mimosas on the same day. Yes, by John Belushi. By John Belushi. You're yeah. right. That's uh, that's a lot better. I think mine was like my aunt Christy. Yeah, <laughs> you know her. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Cousin Christy. <laughs> hey, uh, thanks so much for being here. It's All always right, such a pleasure. All right, Kevin Bacon, everybody.